Hello, welcome to Angler April. This is a collaboration that's being put on by Nine Acre Family Farm, Dale and Nana. They did it last year and I joined along and did smelt last year. This year I'm going to do another local fish um, to you know the Great Lakes. I'm going to do whitefish. Now I know a lot of times when you see videos it says you know whitefish and that can be cod or what any other white fish but this is actually called white fish. <laughs> We're gonna bake this fish in the oven. It's really fast, it's really simple, but I also wanna take you and show you where I bought it because I did not go out fishing and I didn't clean it either. But locally there's um, a fishery, Bayport Fish Company, and it's been around since the 18, mid 1800s. The same family has owned it now for 40 years, over 40 years. Have various shipping vessels that go out in the Saginaw Bay and Lake Huron actually went out on their boats with their crews and brought it back in. And then they have people that work for them, that clean, and you can buy it whole, undressed, or fillets. And I bought fillets, but let me show you this place. It's like stepping back in time. Here is the outside of the Bayport Fish Company and the beautiful bay. It was a gorgeous day when I went to there and I just love how it looks like you're stepping back in time. And inside, the photos. I just love all these old photos, all the family photos. And here's a refrigerator cooler that has um, all different things, smoked fish. And here's freezer. They bring in fish from all over, not just local. So you can go and get seafood. There's the smelt. This was the last run of smelt. There's walleye. They come from Lake Erie. And here's the whitefish. Beautiful, beautiful whitefish that just came in. And then there's perch fillets, which are yummy. Here's the fish they smoke. They do that right there. Um, and oh, it's so good. Fresh smoked fish. But I just decided to buy the white fish because it was beautiful and had just come in from the boat but i always look at all the photos when i go um, it's just really interesting to me to see all these faces and all the fish and just the tradition and history of this place is really special there's not many of these that exist anymore around here so in fact this is the only one in the thumb that's from a PBS show when they came to visit. But the history is amazing, just amazing. I spoke to one of the captains and his family's been doing it for over a hundred years. So time to buy my fish so I can go home. But first I wanna show you, you can't see the water. They just look out and they see the water. The sun was too bright, but these are the people cleaning the fish as they come in. And they did thousands and thousands of the smelt. And now they're doing the white fish. Isn't that pretty amazing? It's, I just love going out there. I get different fish, um, just to watch them all working and to see those old photos. And it's beautiful there in the bay there. Let's get to what we're here for today. And that is to make some, the white fish that I bought there. We are going to make it into a wonderful dinner. I'm also making some hush puppies. I'll have that video coming out tomorrow. Um, I'm doing a little version I saw that uses Jiffy Mix. So that'll be tomorrow. And I made some quick homemade coleslaw and that's gonna be dinner tonight. But this fish is just delicate and beautiful and um, you can batter it and fry it. I was debated doing that and then I decided, no, I just wanted it and it's beautiful fresh, non-fishy tasting way. Okay, I thought I was recording and I must have pushed it twice. Here's my two fillets I got. You can use any white fish for this, you know, but I'm using actual, what's called white fish. I put the skin side down and then I, squeezed a lemon and put lemon juice over it. You can use bottled lemon juice. And then I just took a third a cup of mayonnaise, 
and about a tablespoon of Parmesan cheese and mix together. And I use the back of the spoon. Let me show you. Use the back of the spoon to put a nice coating on. We can add some more. Stir the mayonnaise so it's nice and smooth and then it will spread easier. Now, we also like just putting butter on here and lemon juice. Sometimes simple is really good. So here we have it all coated. You don't need to have too thick of a coat. Now, if you go in Upper Peninsula of Michigan, whitefish dinners are very popular. That's fried a lot of times. You can put paprika on the top, or I'm just gonna do a sprinkle of Old Bay. Now the oven's on 400, and I have a rack in the middle, then one at the top. I'm gonna, this is gonna bake for 10 minutes, and then I'm gonna move it up under the broiler for one to two minutes to get a little bubbly and brown down the top. So that's really as fast as it was when I wasn't recording. It is a very quick dinner. If you have a family, you know, you can make this so fast. And like I said, I know everywhere is not going to have Great Lakes whitefish, but you could use cod. You could use any fish fillet that you want with this same technique. I'm going to make some tartar sauce to go with this. Scoop out some mayonnaise. I have some relish. wouldn't come out. I just put a couple of dollops of it. This is sweet pickle relish using Mrs. Wages and splash just a little bit of lemon juice. Mix this up and I'm going to put it in the fridge. Let me clean up some of this mess and I'll bring you back. The timer went off and here it is. Here's just one piece of it, the coleslaw, tartar sauce, and I was eating too many of the hush puppies, so... This was so good and Jim even enjoyed it. He said it was nice and creamy and fresh tasting. So definitely try this. Thank you for watching and thank you Nine Acre Farm. We'll see you next time at Pike Creek Farm.